Hey grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson on functions. In this lesson we're going to be talking about the average gradient. Now you guys know, because we've done this before, that a gradient can be described as either your rise over your run, or it can be described as delta y over delta x, or y2 minus 1 over x2 minus x1 if the, you were given two points. So for example here this would be y2, y1, x2, x1. This is all very well if we're talking about the gradient of a straight line. But let's say we are given a curve. Now we want to find the average gradient of a curve at a point. The average gradient of a curve at a point. So first thing I'm going to do is I've just realized my color is all wrong so let's change it to a red. Let's say I want to find the gradient at this point Yeah, Let's say I want to find the gradient at that point there. Now what we can do is we know that we can use the change in y over change in x to get the gradient of a straight line. So let's for example use this point here where this is x is 1 and y is 2 and this point here which is 0, 0. Then do you agree we could get the gradient of the line joining these two points here? So let me just try and draw that. Okay, so if I do that, we've got y is equal to, let's try again, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I call this my point 2, so that's going to be x2, y2, and I call this my point 1, so this is going to be x1, y1, and if I substitute these values in, I have got 2 minus 0 over 1 minus 0, which equals 2. So we've got the gradient of this line here is 2, but do you agree that that is quite significantly different from the gradient of this line at this point? So what could we do? What about if we were still looking, let me just check which point we're looking at, okay, there we go. We're still looking for this point, but what about if we chose a smaller distance between two points on either side? So let's say I chose, let's say, that point there and went back to this point here. So this here, the x value is going to be a half and my y value is going to be a half and yeah my x is 1 and my y is 2. So now my gradient is going to be y again m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 where your y2 is 2 minus a half over 1 minus a half which then becomes 2 minus a half is 1 and a half divided by a half. So if we make that nice and neater, we've got 3 over 2 times by 2 over 1, which equals 3. But do you see that that again is the gradient of this line here joining these two points? So it's not quite the gradient at that point there. Do you agree? What about if I made the distance between these two points even smaller? Let's again now, we want this one here, and again we're going to choose this, but this time we're going to choose this point here. So that point there, it's a little bit tricky, but we're going to try it. That's 0.75 is the x value, and the y value is 1.5, and this is still going to be 0.5 and 0.5 and you'll notice that in the previous example or the previous slide I used halves and in this one I'm using decimals. I'm doing that so you can get used to seeing both of them just so that you can get used to the practice of it. It doesn't matter which one you use but keep it the same for both your points. So then again your gradient m is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which in this case, if we call this point 2 again, is going to be 1.5 minus 0.5 over 0.75 minus 0.5. So this time we've got 1 over a half. 0.5, which means the gradient is 2. So if we go back, do you see the gradient has changed from 2 to 3, but back to 2? But have you noticed that now 
we've actually got a line that is almost exactly on that point there. So we could say that this 2 is almost exactly the gradient at that point there that I wanted. I'm just going to make a big cross through here so you can see the point that I wanted. So what you need to understand is the gradient of the point is actually the gradient of the tangent. So I was going for this point here and the smaller and smaller the gap we make between these the more accurate we get to be to the line at that point which is called the tangent. So the gradient at this point, the gradient at that point, the gradient of that point, the gradient of that point is the same as the gradient of the tangent of the tangent. And what is a tangent? In case you don't know, what is a tangent? A tangent is a straight line is a straight line that just touches, just touches, just touches the graph at that point. So the whole point of this grade 11 was just for you guys to understand that if we want to find the average gradient at a point on a curve, we need to get a very small gap between either side of that point to try and get as close as possible for it to look like a straight line. And that's at grade 11. You're going to be using this more when we talk about differentiation later on. And that's it, grade 11s. Have a lovely day.